have just uh, I want to go through just a few questions which uh, everybody has you know I noticed everybody is asking for so that you know we don't have to go through this again sure and then shall whoever have a question in mind please raise your hand and inshallah, I will uh, unmute you so that you will ask your question. Yeah. Now, the first question is, is, is it going to be a yearly vaccine from now on? Uh, it is going to be two shots. And uh, we have to wait because the, they did studies for the first two, like, two companies about at least eight weeks and about 70,000 people. And it did not take the whole time the regular vaccine takes like the previous vaccines. That's why they gave it the emergency use authorization. So the first two shots, they found that 95% is going to be uh, one time, unless there is new viruses happening or new change in the virus, or like the flu. He will get the flu shots and next year there is changing. So right now, uh, still studies going on and there is no known if it's going to be repeated or not. We cannot say that right now because the study is still going on. Okay. And the second question, you heard about the... Uh... What people are saying, there are certain codes they're going to inject it in the vaccine and they're going to start controlling people and stuff. So can you elaborate on that? Can, can anybody put any I, codes, anything in that thing? Yeah, I heard about, they said they are going to change your genes. The virus, the mRNA, was I said, it goes to the cell but does not go to the nucleus. Nucleus is really the core of, your, of all your genetic material stored. It never goes inside. It uh, stimulates the cell to make some antibodies after they make some their own protein. It does not change your uh, genetics. It does not give any clue to anybody who you are. It's not going to be following us like a robot. These are all fallacies. They're all rumors. They are not true. The virus is safe and presidents, vice presidents and minister and uh, prime minister, they are taking it. And they're they taking they the doctors and Big shots, they are taking it. If they really think one time like you do, they will not have taken it. No, it's safe 100%. There's all rumors. Don't follow those rumors. Listen to the, the professionals. Listen to the uh, scientists. Go ahead. That was a good question. Yeah. My, my third question was, which you have answered, but I want everybody you know, to hear it one more time, yeah. which is, if I am a healthy person and I don't uh, have any problems, I feel good. I never took even the flu vaccine. I don't want to take the. Uh, I don't want to take it. So why should I take it? I don't usually get flu for many many years. I've been offered the flu shots many times. I declined it. Alhamdulillah, good health. And maybe when we get sick a lot <laughs> when you're younger. Uh, but this one, when I see people dying in front of me in the hospital, I said I'll get the vaccine once it's available. We get people that they have trouble breathing, young people and elderly people, and I put them on auction. I give them medications they still destroy their life life support give them a lot of medications unfortunately uh, they still succumb and they die and when i saw that in front of me i said this is not the flu this is an evil virus something new to the uh, to humanity if you remember that uh, small box if you remember the spanish flu and all the things millions of people died if it wasn't for this uh, vaccine and all the precautions that we are taking it would have wiped out many people and every 40 seconds, one patient is dying in the United States, here in Southern California, uh, two every 70 seconds. We saw that how many thousands are infected and how many thousands are dying. They may do like complete lockdown soon if we don't control, the hospitals are overwhelmed. No, take the vaccine, it's safe. Listen to the scientists and the professionals. Thank you for that, so good question too. Jazakallah Now, inshallah, I'm going to open the floor for uh, questions. And we have the first one, Brother Hamid. Inshallah, you're unmuted. Brother Hamid, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa Jazakallah uh, khair, doctor. Yes. Um, yeah, I have two questions, if I may. Uh, right. The first one is, uh, what, what is the, how, how do you distinguish between the two, the flu, just the seasonal flu and then the COVID? Because uh, today, actually, uh, uh, just around three, four, you know, I start, I start feeling like somebody ache and fever. Uh, so I called the doctor. He, I give him the symptoms. He said, like, no, you have to go take the test first, and then you know, if he, if it's, if it's uh, negative, then we can go ahead and because uh, you know, I had the same thing. Like I remember, uh, yeah, last year. I mean, this is a seasonal. Uh, okay, 
So exactly. I, they just uh, issue me like you know the antibiotic and with with some vitamins and I'm fine. So what's uh, the, is, it, uh, is it just because they're afraid they just want to make sure you don't have? Uh, yeah, we are now in the flu season. We are also testing flu A and B right now beside COVID-19 uh, PCR test. Uh, if you have the flu before, it will be like regular flu, body ache, fever, chills, but it will not take your smell away. It will not take your taste away. It will not cause you severe short of breath, a lot of vomiting, diarrhea, no, no, and all of this. Of Unless you get a really bad flu, then you do. You have the same symptoms. Some people, they get the, even the flu shot, they get the flu, which is regular aching. But it does not develop to the seriousness of the COVID-19. So it may be overlapping, like call your doctors, if the symptoms are mild, many people, they come to our hospital, they put them in a tent. I run the test, they have COVID positive. They are breathing good, their lung is good, blood is good. I let them go home with some medications. Uh, vitamins are good, vitamin D is good, zinc, multiple vitamins, vitamin C, uh, bed rest, a lot of fluids, and antibiotic or steroids if your doctor thinks that you're needed. But they are, they cannot really distinguish 100% because they overlap. But if the regular flu does not get worse, like that evil disease. Good question. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, the second second question is: Is the COVID uh, the, the the vaccine does it contain the MRC five? The MR, MRA it is developed by two companies like Pfizer and Moderna, and the same technology called the uh, similar. They are uh, protein manufactured in the lab, and what it is. If you remember the virus, when you see the virus, you remember the spikes, the spikes on the top, and that's the uh, oh. MRA. They come to attach the cell, and it sends and it goes inside the cell until the cell give information to make the uh, antibodies or to make the protein similar to the one on the spikes. And when the uh, cell makes a lot of those spikes, it recognizes, oh, there is some foreign body there. They start making the antibodies again as these spikes, and that's when the antibody go and lock these uh, spikes on the virus itself. So when the virus comes in, the rare virus, he finds this antibody there, it locks the latum, it and prevents it from locking to the cell outside and invading it. And that's how the MRSA, which is, alhamdulillah, is a very good uh, new technology, clean, pure, away from the attenuated and the uh, weaken the viruses and bacteria. Good question. Jazakallah khair, Brother Hamid. Inshallah, now we're going to go to Sister uh, Samira Hjaz. Let me just unmute you. And Sister Samira, you're unmuted. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, Doctor. I have two questions, please, real yes. quick. Does the 81 aspirin, baby aspirin, help? If someone has the COVID-19. Okay. The, uh, they found some cases that they get blood clots. You're right. They get blocks in the leg. Uh, you get strokes. And this one, there are less extent of these cases, but still. And some of the doctors, yes, when we admit patients to the hospital, to prevent them from getting clots, we give them aspirin. Those who are bedridden or those who suspect that they get like blood clots in the lung rib, yes, we put them on aspirin. Your doctor also may discharge you home and advise you. They take when we do the blood test and we find a lot of the uh, some elements of the blood are high, like your ferritin is high, your clotting level is high, and all this we advise you to give you even you give more medicine to prevent clots. So if aspirin 81 milligram during these cases is safe, unless you are taking any blood thinning medications or you are allergic to aspirin. Yes, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Jazakallah khair. Yes. Uh, another question, please. Yes, go we ahead. all got the virus. We all got the virus in my family, subhanAllah, oh. a month ago. And I'm the one that got mostly sick from all my family. Yeah, my Get us, give us your experience kids. and how you dealt with it so our audience can benefit. Yes, sis. go ahead. Of course. SubhanAllah, um, I got sick November 15th. Mm -hmm. I was the last one to get sick from my family. Okay. My baby, my two-year-old, <clears throat> tested positive first with a fever. Yes. I'm going in order. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I thought it was just teeth because we haven't gotten sick. Since any idea before. how did you catch this from visiting or any visitation or any exposure to anybody or you don't I, know? Majority, no, by the way, they don't know. know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I only go to my mom's house. She's 76. We yeah. wear masks. I see her once a week. Yeah. Um, 
we, we, we don't even hug each other. I don't let her touch the baby since the virus. Mm -hmm. And I don't go anywhere except to the market, Trader Joe's, yeah. and come back. That's it. Same I don't story, go anywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I've been thinking how I got it. I'm always sanitizing. And everybody's like, you always clean and sanitize. How did yeah. you get it? And you always take vitamin C every day. And you take vitamin D and zinc. And like you emphasized. Um, I have no idea how we got it. Mm -hmm. So my baby got it first. Mm -hmm. And then my husband got a fever four days later after the baby mm -hmm. and then my two daughters got sick they mm -hmm. still can't taste or smell mm -hmm. subhanallah my 15 year old daughter got a red eye out of nowhere so mm -hmm. i was like why do you have red eye i gave her visine and four days with red eye so that was one of the symptoms and then i got sick with a two-week fever almost 103 yes high fever i I was really severely sick mm -hmm. and we all, we all tested positive a few days ago. We all tested again. All my family members were negative and I'm still positive as of yes. today I tested and I'm still feeling sick. Subhanallah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, you have to so, isolate yourself. Yes. Go ahead. I'm still feeling sick. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I have factor five blood clots. So I've been just oh, thinking, yeah. Um, and I, I went to the ER two weeks ago. Yeah. Sorry, I'm taking so long. No, go and, ahead. Uh, it will benefit to everybody, yes. Thank you. I went to Little Mary of Company two weeks ago. because I, I would walk and I can't breathe. I'm 41 years old. Yeah. It took a very long time for the virus to get, almost getting out of my body. Mm -hmm. I couldn't walk. Yes, weakness, at all. yes. I couldn't. I would do both prayers, Lohar and Asr together because I can't stand. I can't barely go to the bathroom. My husband, my daughter helping me. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, you know, I'm getting a little better. Alhamdulillah, yes. But I have patches on my lungs. They saw from the CAT scan. Yes, yes. And, and I have ammonia as of today. Ammonia. And it's been a month. After tomorrow, it'll be five weeks that I am sick. Okay, thank you very and much. And I eat healthy. Yeah, yeah. And Alhamdulillah, you know, thank you. Sorry about that. I'm no, no, it's much, very, but... very important. The sister gave us a very good... Uh, if you are being exposed to somebody, Let's say you're exposed or visit somebody who has a coronavirus. Uh, if they call you, you isolate yourself for a week to 10 days and run that after one week, do the PCR test. If you are positive, still isolate yourself. If it's negative, you can go ahead and communicate uh, with others. And if you are um, got positive, like the sister mentioned, please isolate yourself at home or away from people. I have recently a brother who got infected in a wedding and he has to ask his family, go to an hotel. <laughs> he stayed in the home and they went to a hotel. Like the sister told you, it's very highly infectious disease. The whole family got sick. I know some of the relatives of my in-laws, the elder one, they died from that. The whole family, they used to be make big gathering on Sundays, the whole family. One person came from out of town, infected everybody. So these are very good clues. The sister gave you a hint. How, inshallah, to avoid in the next holidays. I hear wish. Uh, her that the best of health, inshallah. May Allah protect her and protect all of us. Uh, go ahead. If any other more questions. questions, go ahead. Can I ask you a question? Sorry. Yes. Um, do you think because I'm still positive, I have to wear a mask in front of my family? Yes. My yes. Still, uh, okay. as long as you are positive, the uh, this is one thing uh, very strange about this virus. Some people are carrying it; they don't know you are carrying. They give it to others, and some people are still being treated, and their body <laughs> making immune system, but still takes time. Like the sister here, she's almost uh, more than a month now, and she's still having some uh, pneumonia. It's, nobody knows, still studies are going. Why people getting very sick and die? Why people are not getting sick at all? It's still in the life, depends on the gene, the structure of everybody, the blood type, people with blood uh, O type, they are getting it's less than A, B, and A, B, and A, and B, and A, B. So there's still many studies, but take your precautions as long as the PCR test is still positive and uh, stay away and that's a good question because some people they said if we get the virus the vaccine are we going to get boosted for the virus the majority did not find the virus itself but they may be boosted for antibodies so if you get the vaccine and you get blood tests after that you'll be boosted for the antibodies which is good but not for the pcr virus itself pcr means that's the virus itself gene which is not the mra it is not the antibodies Anybody else questions? Jazakallah khair, Sister Samira. May yeah. Allah, inshallah, uh, give you complete uh, shifa. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I have one comment, which is, uh, 
Unfortunately, uh, yani Sister Samira is, uh, has so much courage that she comes online and she talks to us, everybody, about what's her experience. Mm. And unfortunately, a lot of brothers and sisters, out of maybe because of we have that uh, back home mentality, <coughs> that we think we uh, about this thing as a taboo, that, oh, you can't talk about it. If I have it, I shouldn't take, tell anybody, which is wrong. As Andrew you said, you know, it's selfish even not to inform people who you have met, who have you sat with, and you know for a fact that you have the COVID-19. I mean, that's, I, I, I really appreciate her you know, for talking out loud so that others can, inshallah, learn from her and know exactly. that it's, uh, it's a community issue that we have to help each other when, when it happens. And it happens, you know, out of nowhere. It's not of her. Exactly. Because she did something wrong. She was taking precautions, subhanAllah. Yeah, that's very important. <laughs> My friend was a wedding recently. In fact, he called everybody who was in the wedding and inform them to get tested and get isolated until, uh, alhamdulillah, they have to get out. This is very important. This is a moral obligation uh, to tell other people if they've been exposed. Uh, thank you, Dr. Gallagher, yes. for this comment. Can you well, take, yeah. can you take so, it? No. Wait, I think you raised your hand and know what happened now. Are you still there, Mahmoud? Can, can yes. you take it? Okay, uh, we'll Go ahead. just a minute there. Yeah. Well, uh, Jaudat, can we take from Glendale any question now? There are a lot online. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, just a minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, please come in. Yes, you already answered my questions. It's about the gene and blood type, and yeah, you answered that question the last minute. Yes. So yes. I'm very fine. good. That's okay. I will hear. Okay, Doctor Jalda. I will hear on Hoff on Glendale has Okay. There is a question here in the comments. It said, "Is this vaccination for all ages?" Uh, for now, the vaccine is recommended for age 16 and above. Uh, age 16 and above, all conditions except what I mentioned, the severe allergic reaction. And uh, subsequently later, when they vaccinate, the majority of the people, it will be for everybody because they have not tested on children, on pregnant women, on uh, breastfeeding women yet. So it's recommended 16 years and above. Because okay. a good question. Okay. The other one is, uh, the, is it required for the uh, school students? And how about when you are traveling between the places uh, in the state or outside? No, it's not mandatory now to show that you got the vaccine. Only some places, if you get the PCR negative test for riding airplanes to go to other countries, but not mandatory yet for attending school or attending airplanes or going to different countries. That's a good question. Okay, someone is saying if I have already the COVID-19, Okay, how long I have the uh, the immunity from this? Uh... The studies show that COVID-19 immunity lasts for about uh, 90 days. And uh, the problem is some people, they got reinfected. That's why they recommend, even if you got the COVID-19 infection by itself, they recommend to take the vaccine itself because it gives you uh, more stronger immunity than the infection by the virus itself. That's a good question. Okay, let me do something because some of our community here, I... Uh, I muted them, so let me do the unmute in order for them to ask the question because they're raising their hand. Okay. Yes, you can hear everything. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will hear one more question before I go to Holton. Okay. I'm going to open them then. Uh, Abu Rami has, has. Okay. Go ahead. Unmute Abu Rami and ask her question, and then Sister Jamila, we have Sister Jamila. Okay. Salam alaikum. Uh, my daughter want to ask a question. I'm, I'm, I'm Karim. Okay. Alaikum. Okay. Raise your, raise your voice. Raise your voice, please. Um, I have a question. Uh, we recently contacted the virus, my whole family. And my son, he tested a couple of days ago, and he's still positive. Um, I know it's a similar question, but I'm wondering, can he get us sick again? Oh, Dr. Noah. Dr. Noor, unmute yourself, Dr. Noor. You are muted. You are muted. Unmute yourself. Sister, how old is your son? He's 22. Yes, he should get the vaccine once it is available for him. Yes, he should get it. No, my, my question is because we're all in the same home and we had all tested positive uh, about three weeks ago. Yes. And he's, he's still testing positive and he's, he's with me in the home. So should yes, he isolate he himself from us? still isolating because it's still positive. That means the virus is still there. And until mm -hmm. it's negative, then he can 
three more days after is negative, if there is no any symptoms, he can mingle and interact. But until the test is negative, unfortunately, still isolation is recommended. Wearing masks, keep stuff away, uh, etc. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The antibodies will be positive, but the PCR itself, the gene of the virus itself, that's the one that's the problem still there. The body did not eradicate the whole virus from the body. Mm -hmm. But the vaccine is still recommended going to develop. Yes. And when can he take the vaccine? Once he's negative? Well, or? Yes. No, no, no. Even if he has the infection, he can still take the vaccine. They're going to boost the immune system and eradicate the virus itself. Okay. Recommended 16 years and above. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't have any symptoms. It's, I mean, just he's no, testing positive and there's no symptoms. symptoms at all. That's the problem how the virus is really spreading. People who have mm -hmm. no symptoms, they go visit loved ones and they give them the virus. That's why yeah. we said once you test it, isolate yourself at least for one week, test again. If it's negative, three more days, no fever, no symptoms, you can mingle with others. Okay. okay Sister Jamila, unmute and ask questions. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. I just wanted to ask you about, you know, the uh, sister who has uh, uh, told us about her experience. Uh, yes. She said that the whole family is uh, doing fine except herself. She's still, you know, uh, affected. Now, yes. because they were already affected once, can they be affected another time and be sick another time? Some uh, studies they found out uh, the immunity doesn't last uh long and some people uh, last like immunity 90 days and they got reinfected again. And that's okay. the problem with this virus. When the virus itself, the body immune system is not strong enough to eradicate the virus. That's why you hear it from the sister, it is still positive. What's nice about the vaccine, the immune system that it generates in the body is so strong, it wipes out the virus. And they tested the 70,000 people with the vaccine and none of them tested positive for the virus itself. The placebo, which the people did not get the vaccine, which they test them in the trials, when they get like normal serum water injection, they got the infection from the virus. But those who received the vaccine did not. That's okay. what's the answer to the question. So in, so in her case, so she can, you know, she, she stays isolated, so she doesn't re-affect uh, her, her children. Exactly. Until, exactly. Until she is tested no, negative, she should isolate herself and wear a mask, keep herself safe, and use a hand sanitizer. Keep visitation mm -hmm. away. Yes. Okay. We, we wish her the, the uh, Shifa, inshallah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to everybody. I have a okay, question but, myself. Let's turn for a minute. Okay, Dr. Gauda, go ahead if they have any other okay. questions for the Hawthorne. Yes, inshallah. Let me check. I see Abu Anas has something there. Abu Anas, do you have anything? Abu Anas. Yeah. No, Abu Anas, my Lord, my Lord, my sister. Um, uh, okay. you are on. Salam alaikum, Dr. Salam alaikum, Just I wanted to uh, add one more thing regarding the testing. Go ahead. Uh, there is a three type of testing. I know some yes. people they are trying, to, they are mixing up between the test. Uh, first, the PCR. That's to tell you if you are positive or negative. Yes. There is a viral load. That's the measurement or the quantitation of the virus. Yes. To tell you how many viruses you have in your body. Yes. And the third one, the immunology test, and that's the immunity test. Yeah, the to antibodies. Check if you are immune or not. The antibodies you have. Yes. And that's the antibody, and that's supposed to be positive because some people they are yeah. kind of a little bit. If you can. Add a little bit more on those three tests. I really appreciate. Very it. good. The uh, the antibody test uh, it's a test check if you've been exposed to the virus. Like we will have hepatitis B or hepatitis C. They are both for antibodies. That means the body they got infected and the body make antibodies to attack the virus. And uh, but if you do the PCR test and you've been infected before and it's negative, now you don't have the virus. And the viral load those who have the virus itself was both of PCR which is the actual virus itself, they tells you how much the virus in body. Those who have no symptoms, maybe very little, but still they can affect others. But if your PCR negative and your antibody is positive, you are okay. And this is what good about the, uh, our testing. And your doctor or your lab uh, should advise you about uh, this test and which test you should get. Thank you very much for your comments. Anybody else? No problem. 
جزاك الله خير بابا محمد وي هاف سيستر صفاء قادر ان شاء الله يو ار انميتد تفضل السلام عليكم دكتور وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله ماي كويشن لايك وات سكير مي اند سكير سو ماني بيبول لايك ذا كويك ذي فاوند ذيس فاكسين ذاتس واي سو ماني بيبول لايك ذي دونت يو سيد اتس ا ميريكل بس نوت سو ماني بيبول بيليف ان ميريكل ذيس ديز سو ذي ار سو افريد فرايتن تو تيك ات سو هاو يو كان لايك اشور اس يو ار فيري بوزيتيف اباوت ات اتس فيري جود اند اتس بين تيستد انف اند اتس لايك سيف فور so many people to take yes. it please if you remember the nobel peace prize uh, people who won the uh, nobel peace for uh, science they were able to maneuver and crisscross the genes itself to move the genes from one to the other for 20 years pfizer and the other companies they are making research about how to maneuver the genes in your body we have the dna which is double strands which is your uh, it's like your fingerprints or your blueprints in your body and uh, they were able with new technology yeah. genetic engineering and even able to use ultra sensitive uh, microscopes which they were able to find the exact sequence of the virus you remember the virus itself it has the spikes on the top they were able to see them on the computer and see all the protein itself and they were able to mimic that mentioned and uh, manufactured in the lab by the new technology which that's why the old you're right the old vaccines used to take years to be approved and tested this one took almost less than a year because of the new technology yeah. new technology in the lab the companies and the new science and the genetic engineering and the bioengineering and electronic engineering seeing these viruses self able to manufacture it that's how they were able to make it fast it is a safe one it does not give you a robot it does not change your genetic is not going to destroy your body is not going to be following it as a robot this is all fallacies all uh, rumors the vaccine is very safe i am took him i'm i took it yesterday i'm sitting in front of you i'm the same doctor yesterday same like today inshallah tomorrow uh, many dignitaries inshallah. and many uh, presidents are taking it to encourage their people i encourage everybody is very safe very important to take inshallah dispel all the rumors don't hear any of these uh, fallacies Thank you for your question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And last, we're going to take a question from Brother Samir Arif, inshallah. Go ahead, Brother Samir. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah. A question just very quickly. People with chronic disease, elderly chronic disease, we know it is a high risk. Where yes. should they be on in the in line for the uh, for the vaccination? We they are actually about, uh, for the uh, they should be this in the first line. But the people in nursing homes who are very sick with chronic diseases. They are the first tier, like doctors and nurses and paramedics. They are getting it. They will be in the second tier with the teachers and. Uh, the uh, restaurant workers and those who are communicating supermarkets so and these people and this also elderly people their doctors with a chronic disease elderly also they should be getting also their vaccines communicate with your doctor or the hospital you work at and they should tell you that the website you can go and register they'll tell you when your vaccine or your time will be ready once it's available because uh, the vaccines are not coming as fast as needed but whatever the priority that's the cdc and the fda they decided that by a very uh, strict uh, neutral rules not to favor any other group or age group or wealth or money or anything like that but elderly people so, yes communicate with your doctor and uh, inform him that you have this chronic disease would like to get as soon as possible he's going to find out from his hospital or the clinics and soon inshallah in the summer will be available in pharmacies and clinics they are test they are treat they are educating even pharmacists how to give it needs like 20 days experience the like how because it's very strict rules how to store the vaccine how to give it the shelf life and the recording yes i said this was going to be the last but i have one more i think hand here i see it uh, sure, we're going for one hour that's fine i'm off today sister ma sister ma inshallah you're unmuted Bye. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Um, you said, Doctor, if we get the vaccine, we we have to continue wearing the mask. Why? 
because that uh, we said the uh, vaccine is effective 95 percent and until you get the second shot that you still be exposed to viruses you can carry it you can still get sick because the first shot will give you like up to 50 percent but alhamdulillah that is good you have 50 percent you need but there is a chance you can get infected and transmit it to others until you get the second shot so which is three weeks in between they'll give you a card to preserve it to go that you still have to do social distancing and because you can get the virus in your hand for example and you can touch somebody or hug somebody or touch something and you can sneeze and it comes in your nose but doesn't go inside your body and you can when you speak it still comes with the uh, droplets on you speak you never know it doesn't go to your body you may transmit to others but it's very important until the whole country they lift these sanctions of wearing masks etc even i am if i take the two shots i'll be still doing uh, face masking and social distancing until everybody inshallah gets it. very good question okay, okay dr noor uh, dr mahmoud for us here we're done if you'd like to take Thank your questions you. from abu khair okay brother abu khair if anybody yes. listening yes. and they'll uh, uh, hawthorne yeah go ahead brother abu khair yes well i have a question uh, right. My sister mentioned if some members of the family, they tested positive and you have people living in the house or these people living in the house should not come to a gathering, uh, to the masjid, to the prayers, to other places. We need your advice in that since we want to protect the entire community and for sure. the good of everybody. That's a little story. My daughter, for example, uh, she had a housekeeper who came last week and after she cleaned the whole house exposed and she was all she was wearing masks she called her next day i'm sick i tested positive for covid my daughter and her husband and little two kids they got panicked they went and have checked out alhamdulillah they are negative so it is important that if you're exposed to anybody and to isolate yourself and inform those who are not infected that you have the coronavirus so they can take their precautions they can do testing and they can see the doctors and they look on the lookout if they get sick. This is very good the question. Those who go to masks, to gathering, etc. If they are around anybody sick, isolate yourself uh, for a week at least. If you don't get sick, do the PCR test. The PCR is different from like the brother mentioned, the antibody or viral load, which actually, if it's negative, three more days after that, if you don't get, because as a precaution, because what's one last point here about the test? Uh, you can get the virus and the test is still negative. I got that even, even on the hospital. I have people who have the, all the symptoms, pneumonia, infection. I do the test was negative. I have to repeat the test again because the viral load is important and maybe some problem with the technique itself. But uh, that's how the testing has to be done and three days more to be sure you are not sick. And that's when you can mingle with people still. Wear your masks, keep your social distancing, and bring your, bring your own prayer rug if you go to the uh, mosque, keep social distancing away. Always use hand sanitizer when you pump gas, you go to the supermarket, etc. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all, uh, all of us from this uh, terrible disease. Yeah. Any let, other me, let me make sure that it is clear. So if I have mm -hmm. uh, someone with me in the house that he is tested positive, I should not as a second person. I'm not infected, somebody else is. I should not go to the gathering in the masjid and a prayer to protect the others. Exactly. Until you do test yourself and test it negative and the other person tested negative, yes. Yes, and the other person tested negative. Okay. We have a Brahma is in your hand. His hand. Father uh, Abraham. More question, yes, before we finish. Yeah, this is my last question. Go on, um, how when what when, when do you recommend he does the test again? My son. How long should he wait? We just, he did it like three days ago and it was positive. How long should, when should he do it again to make sure he's, ne he's negative? Uh, seven days to, it used to be like two weeks, but the uh, WHO, the uh, recommended even less time, seven days to 10 days. So I recommend like wait 10 days and do the test. Inshallah, it will be negative and uh, may Allah give him a speedy recovery. Inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> Any anyone else have any question from the Glendale? You could unmute. If you have any question, any uh, clarification, we have Dr. Nohadas. Anyone? If not, we uh, you know he has been with us for uh, little well, over an hour now. Okay. 
was supposed to be half an hour, but it is an important topic. Uh, if any other questions, uh, those to know my number uh, from Glendale or Walter. Oh, one no, second, no. one second. I have some comments here. Let me read the comments uh, before I let you go, Dr. Noor. Okay, yes. the comments is, uh, okay. I have another question that's uh, done. Okay, I guess uh, that's it. I guess that's... Uh, we hope the brother will make dua for us, uh, to us and uh, Hawthorne. So may Allah subhanahu wa protect us. Go ahead, brother will share. We wanted to ask you, uh, you know, to uh, make prayer for all of us too. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiply your reward with the dunya and akhirah. You are there in the front line and you are uh, a, a model. Uh, you still as a doctor and busy with all this. You still come to the masjid and attend the Jummah prayer and do all this effort. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, multiply your reward with the dunya and akhirah. Ameen. يا رب لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك يا رب لك الحمد حتى ترضى ولك الحمد اذا رضيت ولك الحمد بعد الرضا يا رب لك الحمد على الاسلام ولك الحمد على الايمان ولك الحمد على القران ولك الحمد ان بعثت فينا الحبيب العدنان اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في الاولين وصل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في الاخرين وصل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في كل وقت وحين وصل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في الملا الاعلى الى يوم الدين اللهم اهدنا بفضلك وكرمك وجودك في من هديت اللهم عافنا وعاف المسلمين فوق كل ارض وتحت كل السماء يا رب أمين. العالمين اللهم عافنا من هذا الداء يا رب العالمين واحفظ أمين. المسلمين واحفظ عبادك فوق كل ارض وتحت كل السماء من هذا أمين. الداء يا رب العالمين اللهم أمين. احفظنا واحفظ اولادنا واحفظ اهلنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا وشفاء لما في صدورنا وجلاء لهم منا وحزننا واجعله شهيدا لنا ولا تجعله شهيدا علينا واجعلنا حافظين الحروف مطبقين لحدوده وذكرنا من ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا واجعلنا نقرأ آناء الليل وطراف النهار على الوجه الذي يرضيك عنا اللهم اجعله لنا في هذه الدنيا قائدا إلى جناتك يا جنات النعيم وفي القبر مؤسسا ويوم القيامة شفيعا وعلى الصلاة منجيا والجنة قائدا ودليلا وعن النار سترا وحجابا اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك وعبادك المؤمنين فوق أمين. كل أرض وتحت كل سماء أمين. اللهم احفظ الأطباء اللهم احفظ طاقم الأطباء والمستشفيات يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظهم ورعاهم لرعاية عبادك اللهم ارفع عنا هذا الداء يا رب العالمين اللهم إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم إن أمرك بين الكاف والنون اللهم اجعلنا هذا الوباء يا رب العالمين ورد مم. عبادك الى الاسلام ورد عبادك جميعا الى دينك الحنيف وتقبل منا واقبلنا وارفع الظلم عن المظلومين وسد دين المديونين واحسن خلاص المديونين مم. اللهم احفظ اخواننا فوق كل ارض وتحت كل سماء اللهم ارحمهم اللهم ارحمهم في سوريا اللهم ارحمهم في فلسطين اللهم ارحمهم في اليمن اللهم ارحمهم في ليبيا اللهم ارحمهم فوق كل ارض وتحت كل سماء انك على كل شيء قدير إنك مم. نعم المولى ونعم النصير رب ارحمهما كما ربونا صغيرا اللهم عنا في هذه البلاد على نشر دينك على نشر مم. دينك والالتزام بشرعك يا أكرم الأكرمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم آمين ربنا مم. أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا عليك توكلنا وإليك أنبنا وإليك المصير وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم امين وجزاكم الله خيرا جميعا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. سراج تشيرمان اوف ذا اسلامك ستار اوف جلندل اند دكتور جاودت تشيرمان اوف ذا دايركتورز اسلامك ستار اوف هوثورن اند ماي لاست وورد ريلي وتش ميكس مي جوينج اند وين سيدنا نوح سيد واذا ما اردت فهو يشفين When you got sick, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a cue, really, لَيْسَ لَهِمْ دُونَ اللَّهِ كَشِفَةً And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and تَدَاوُعِ بَاذَ اللَّهِ فَمَا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ هُنْ دَا إِلَّا وَلَهُ دَوَاء And this is the dawa, we said, so that you give that in front of Allah, oh Allah, I took my vaccine, I did everything, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you. Thank you very much, everybody. See you on the next. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.